Hi everyone, in this video we'll look at an example through which we'll study floats in Java and also learn how to divide two numbers in Java. So we, as I'm using jdoodle, we can execute this code online itself. So we have this public class which is called main here within which we have the main method. From line 7 to 15 is where we have the bulk of the code. Now we are going to ask the user for the two numbers, the first number and the second number, and then we are going to divide the first by the second. So I want to say first up here is this code is a little messy and will give you errors. So we'll have to we'll first study what are the issues with this code. So first in line seven, what we have is we want to take an input from the user. So what we do is we call the scanner class here. Now input is an object of the scanner class. So because it's a class scanner input, using input we can get in integers and floats and other kinds of things. So basically we have to call the next int method to get the integer from the user. Okay. So you, if you don't know classes at this point, that's fine. That's not very important. All that you need to know is how to get an input from the user. You just have to write out these two lines. This is the first line where we define the input and then you basically have to use input next dot int to get an integer from the user. Now we will get the first integer from the user and store that in a. Next we ask the user to input the second number. We get an integer and store that in b. Now we divide a by b and store the result in another integer d. Okay, And then we print out this result. Okay. So you take two integers, a and b, divide them and store the result in d. Now let's see what happens when we do this. Now we're going to print out the result of this division in line 15, which is div division of a and b is, and basically we're going to print out d. So this code is fairly simple and it should be easy enough to understand. So let's execute this code. Now when we execute this code, it's going to ask for the first number. So I'm going to input 7 here. Now it's going to ask for the second number. Let me input 2 here. Now you will see what the output is. The output is going to be 3. So a divided by b is going to be 3. And that's not true, right? Because it should be 3.5. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. But it's printing out 3. So what's the issue? The biggest issue is that a is an integer and b is another integer. And we are taking the division of a and b. We are dividing two integers. And we are storing it as another integer. So that should actually solve this problem. That you have 7 and you divide it by 2. It's going to be 3.5. But somehow the issue is that we, b is an integer. So it cannot take in 3.5. So it's going to take in just 3. So that is one problem. Let's see how we can fix it. Okay. And whether we can fix it easily enough. So... Let's comment that line and let's go to the line above. Here what I have defined is something called float. Now floats are, are basically decimal points. So they can take in decimal points, can save a value like 3.5 or 7.3 or anything like that in a float. So that's very important. So if A is an integer and B is an integer and division of those two is going to be not an integer, as is the case in this particular example where we divided 7 by 2, then if we have d as a float, it should be able to store 3.5. Let's see if this is going to happen. Okay. Now if you egg, let's execute this. So we execute it, we take the first number, 7. Okay, the second number is 2. Let's see. Unfortunately, the division is still 3.0. What happened here? Instead of printing it as 3, printed out 3.0, it did not print out 3.5. The problem is that D is a float. It can take a value that is 3.5. But A and B are both integers. And when you divide them, they're already having this loss of dividing two integers. It's returning an integer, which you're then converting to a float. So A divided by B is two integers, 7 and 2, that are getting divided here. And then they are automatically returning 3, which is getting stored in D. 
So having float here is just not going to solve this problem. Okay, so that is one big problem. Now that is one issue with the scope. So just writing float will not help us. So let's go back one step back and let's convert this statement back. Okay, so we have a and b both integers. We divide a by b and store it in d. Okay, now let's execute this code again. Now, now what we will do is we'll give the first number, say seven. Now for the second number, we are not going to give anything like two. Let's give zero. So seven divided by zero. Now seven divided by zero is actually not defined for two integers. So if we do this, let's see what happens. This code just fails. It just says that there is an arithmetic exception that is divided by zero. So Though apparently the code that we had written looked fine, they had us two major issues. One is if it's dividing two integers, for example, seven and two just returns three, does not return 3.5, and converting the result d to a float does not solve the problem because it's still a division of two integers. And then there is this issue of b becoming zero. If b is zero, it is failing. Okay, so let's try to fix this. First, we understand that, all right, let's go in here. First, we understand that it cannot be int d by zero. So let's go and make it float, okay? So we are gonna make it float d equals a by b. Next is we cannot get an integer from the user. So we are gonna ask the user to enter a float. If both a and b are floats, then the division can be saved. Even, even if a is 7 and b is 2, their floats, integers are kind of exceptions for a float. So it can save it instead of saving it at 7, it will save it at 7.0. If you have the division, 7.0 and 2.0 will give you 3.5. And instead of taking next int, we will take in next float. Okay, and let's execute this code. Now if we execute this code, will ask us to integer to the first number. So I'm going to enter seven. Now, though I'm entering seven, it'll be converted to 7.0 and saved in A. Ask for the second number. I'm going to give it two. Now you will see that the division of A and B is 3.5. So 7.0 divided by 2.0 is going to give us 3.5, the result that we are wanting. So what we studied is, we studied floats here. So that's another data type in Java, which actually helps us store decimal numbers. Now let's see what happens if we do A by B, where B is zero. Do floats actually handle it? And I'll say, yes, they handle it, but you might want to handle them better. Let's see what I mean by that. So if you press this execute, let's enter the first number, which is seven. The second number I'm going to enter is zero. So seven by zero, what happens? Now, when we divide seven by zero, the answer it gives us as infinity. So this code did not crash. And seven by zero, if you want to call that as infinity, that's fine. There is no bug which will make the code fail. But you may want, you may not want this. If there is a divide by zero, you might want to handle it yourself. If you want to handle it yourself, what you have to do is you have to put an if condition line here, where you have to check and I'm not going to write the code for this. I would encourage you to write it yourself. If b is equal to equal to zero, you might just want to check that. If b equal to equal to zero, you might want to just say that this division is not allowed. That's a check that you'll have to add in yourself. But if you define d as a float, a and b as both floats, then Java will actually take care of it and give you infinity. So in this piece of code, what we studied was we studied division of two numbers in Java and we studied floats. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.